Hey, father, up there. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Is that a bomb? We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphonse. <laughs> Behind you! Look out! Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> Get off her! So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair... The Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we?
What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise? The light. Ah! I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Yes, but could you make it less bright? Jeez. You trying to blind my retinas? Wrong one. Yep, wrong one. Wrong direction. Um. Uh, where else is going if I hit it over here? That's the only one though. This is from one over somewhere else. Nope. Oh. Okay, now this is stuck in the zoom. Maybe. No. Stones up in the ceiling. I had it for a sec there. <laughs> well done. Though I imagine our light eye friends will be less than pleased. Ah. Why, why am I not surprised? I should really see this room that heals. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Okay, that was rude. On your right. Find you, incoming. 
Mm. Oof. Oh well. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Ah, light bomb. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, brother. Oh, damn. The video is long enough already, anyways. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> and he was doing it. Poor souls. Here, they came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Hmm. 
Lucky for us, squaring off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Yes, but how do I hit the Twilight Stone up there? Not a great idea. <gasps> I want to see if it actually works. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. He's here. Get back. You. Salutations, we mean you no harm. Here, get back. My what? Oh, my right. Bye. 
Take it that was it. No, it's still here on. want the souls in the light left alone. But the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This. Okay, slam move. Uh, I was thinking rage. An elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Yeah, that will do. <laughs> <laughs> 